in the 12th of all the evening. Semi-finals, 147 pounds left. Coming up on the 147 pound weight division. From Holyoke, representing the Holyoke Boys Club. From Holyoke. Alberto Roman. It will be Alberto Roman. In the blue corner. In the blue corner. It's going to be. From Vermont, representing. From Vermont, Marcos Neves. And they're coming out fighting here, Pauly. As we've, we've got the, the battle going on in tight. Roman, of course, fighting out of Holyoke. We saw him fight in Whitman, and down in uh, Whitman, Pauly, Alberto Roman. Yes, uh, he's a good fighter. We saw a good fight down in Whitman, and we're going to see a good fight tonight. There's been some exciting fights, uh, good boxing shown, and uh, of course, first, the last fight was one of the most exciting for the fans. They like to see knock uh, knockdowns and uh, knockouts, and uh, haven't seen too many uh, tonight. Not even first one was just around. Uh, about previous to this, and uh, that's what gets the crowd screaming and hollering, though. But we've seen some good boxing and uh, good boxing ability. Good fight last time. Edson in the yellow tank top, and Roman in the white. Of course, this is the 147 pound semi final. And th there's some heated action going on here, Paul. Roman. Trying to work that left hand, but Ed, Edson is just just coming coming back with those counter punches to keep to keep Roman away. Roman staying in the center of the ring, though, and Ed, Edson trying trying to trying to cut off the ring on Roman. Yep, uh, it's all night as we've been saying tonight. You know, the first round they, they come out there feeling each other out and just trying to find a. a an opportunity to land some good punches to get some combinations off. And as it goes along, you're going to see it get more serious. These fighters are good seasoned fighters right here, and they're uh, looking to land, to do some clean, good, hard boxing, which they're trying to do. But they only got uh, two minutes to do all this, and so in their corner, uh, their, their trainers are right now telling these guys what to do when they come back uh, if something doesn't happen in the first round. Now, uh, now you're going to hear some, uh, we're not going to hear it, but in the corner, these kids are going to be told what they're doing wrong and what they have to do for this, this next round to get this fight moving along and to be able to win the, the crown they're looking for. Paul, you mentioned luck. Uh, luck. Does luck have a lot to do with, with the boxing game? I'm sure, uh, I know skill and, and, and being good, of course, uh, you know, is heavier in, in the scale of, of thing, of luck and, um, and, and ability. But luck does play a major role in the boxing game. Uh, no, I'd have to disagree with you with that. Okay. that there's, there's no such thing as luck, you know, because we don't know if these kids get up every morning and uh, which fighter ran and who didn't, who was faithful to, to uh, his ability in boxing, his training, and listening to his trainers and living by the rules and regulations of being a fighter or an athlete. It goes a lot more than what we see here tonight, so uh, luck is not. I think what these kids do and what they win, they win it because of their ability and not luck. The only time you get lucky in boxing is uh, if you win a decision like the fellow who won before, for us, and the, and the crowd said, "Booze you out of the joint." <laughs> That's luck. <laughs> okay, here we go with the 170, 47 pound weight class. It's Roman Alberto Roman in the white top, and Edson in the yellow top. It was a tough first round to to judge, in my opinion. But we're right, we're we're right back at it in round two, and Edson seems to be the more aggressive of the fighters in this round. Yep, uh, the, they are uh, the, doing uh, the same as uh, as some of these uh, good boxers are doing. They're standing up and uh, trying to feel each other. They have a lot of respect for each other, I can see, tell you that. That's why they're standing off in the center of that ring and hoping to, to get a good punch off. But they do have to mix it up. they got to throw more punches now in uh, the first round, and they got to get more punches off. That's what uh, is going to get them to win. And uh, uh, standing and waiting too long, I uh, get the referee uh, checking the, uh, the lacings on those gloves. And uh, they got to get more punches off. They're doing good boxing, stand-up boxing, but they ain't got enough time to just. Oh, there's a good left hook, good left hook uh, from uh, Roman. Edson. Ed Edson, sorry, Edson. And a, a, a 
second one. Second left hook seemed to land also, Paulie. Edson seems to be pressing this fight, but Roman comes right back with those counter punches to keep Edson away. I think uh, I think uh, uh, Roman is uh, landing the, the hot punches, and Edson is uh, a little uh, hurt there, but he's coming back. But I watching his legs there, he's a little wobbly. Uh, he's bouncing around to get his uh, feeling in his legs back, but uh, uh, Roman. Uh, Landed some solid, solid punch there, real solid punch. And that effect may last a little while with, uh, with uh, Edson. Is that the first telltale sign to know that your boxer's in serious trouble is watching the knees buckle? Yeah, you gotta watch his legs. That's, uh, that's when you know. He gets hit a good punch and his legs uh, wobble a little bit. You know he's hurt. Uh, you can be hurt, but uh, uh, move away and uh, know what you're doing. It's when you get, you get hit a good punch, your mind's with you, but your legs don't just uh, fall you. That'll do it for the second round here, and then the crowd's really whipping up on this one. Alberto Roman looks like he's fighting an uphill battle as Edson was was applying the pressure there in the second round. Uh, the, Edson uh, landed some good, good punches, solid punches in there. Uh, Roman uh, 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 hurt, hurt there, but uh, coming back with some solid punches, and uh, uh, both fighters are doing a good job, but. Uh, I don't know if this one's going to go the whole route. We'll see. You are coming up on third round action here from the Lowell Auditorium, the Golden Gloves semifinals. The winners stay, losers go home. We're coming up on the third and final round of the 147 pound battle between Edson and Roman. Roman in the red trunks trimmed in white, Edson in the green trunks trimmed in yellow. And this, this is just, give it all, you got a big left hand landed by Edson, looks like it hurt Roman. Roman has to go collect himself here, Paul. Yep, uh, that was a good, good uh, uh, right hand landed by Edson, and, uh, and Roman is a, a game kid staying right in there. This round, uh, they're going to really go at each other. These kids want this uh, win so badly, both of them, and, uh, and there's some real effective punches being thrown, and uh, Edson is, uh, and Roman is uh, landing real, real good. Edson's coming back, real game fighter. Edson seems to be working that left hook. That left missed wildly by Edson. But if that lands, Paulie, that could that could spell disaster for Roman. That definitely will uh, spell, spell disaster. But uh, we've seen things turn uh, very quickly in these fights, uh, uh, and uh, it can happen. Uh, but uh, uh, Roman's working, uh, staying in on top of his opponent, and uh, that's the thing he should be doing: staying in close, getting in closer, and throwing more punches. Roman seems to be trying, trying to actually backpedal and try to, trying to stay away from Edson. It seems, Paul. But the more, the more quality punches in this fight are, are being landed. It looks like by Edson. Yep, Edson is a. It looks like a good puncher to me, a banger, and he's got to be inside. Uh, I think he knows that he, he can take uh, a Roman out with a good solid punch, but he's got to throw more punches to, uh, to, uh, to, to be able to land these punches and. Uh, and there he goes, a good uh, overhand right, but he missed with that one. He's got to get in closer, use that left jab to find his opponent, and then start throwing some uh, good solid punches. The, the right hand to the body seems to work for Edson when he is in close, Paul. And then that left hand comes right in. Roman doing his all, though, to land his uh, punches of his own. Yep, uh, Edson uh, uh, got the crowd behind him, too, and, uh, and sometimes uh, the roar of a crowd uh, uh, dissuades those judges just as well. Uh, but uh, I, I would give it to, uh, my, my opinion, Edson uh, did land some of the uh, real hard blows and push the fight, and uh, uh, that's the way I see it. But uh, we've been fooled all night. Uh, <laughs> uh, the blue corner was winning all night, but just before uh, the last two bouts, the red corner been uh, pulling him out of the hat. So uh, I, said, I don't know if we go by corners or what, but uh, <laughs> we may get surprised again. <laughs> In the 12th of the evening, the winner by decision in the 147 pound finalist in the Luke Cross. Edson in the blue corner, the victor at the 147 pound weight class. So. That was a quite a battle, Paul. Edson really, really kept the momentum fo coming forward and, and took the fight away from Roman. Yes, uh, that, was a, that was a good, good fight. Uh, there was some good, good solid punches landed in there, but uh, uh, Edson uh, pushing it, landing the most serious uh, punches and, uh, and uh, got the win.